What's the hoopla everyone? It's the war winning commentator. Today guys we can take a look at a brand new arcade game coming out called Gotham City Impostors. This arcade game is set to be released on February 2012 on all three systems. The PC, the Xbox, and the Playstation. This game was supposed to be released during January 2012, but then they pushed it back. They just concluded the first run of beta testing, which was invite only. Unfortunately it's not able to make it on that one. Beta testing 2 has just started and that goes till February 6. On the PS3 it is an open beta. I have to go download it in the PSN store, it is a free beta, and play it. On the Xbox, it's a little bit hard. It's an invite-only beta. I have to go to the main website right here. I'm looking in the annotation as well as the description below. Click it, make a WBID account, and hope you guys get in. I did get on the Xbox One as well as the PlayStation. You guys will see a lot more gameplay coming very soon. Now, after watching all the videos that came out of PAX West, this one caught my eye. I immediately wanted to play it. It looks like Team Fortress 2, but it doesn't really play like it. The coolest thing about this game is all these random weapons they put in here. Like this grappling hook for instance, you move around the map a lot faster. You have grappling hooks, you also have roller skates, you can, can fly. Some characters can fly and dive bomb on people. You see where I am using the grappling hook, and the thing I love about it is you can get behind your enemies a lot faster. You see what I do right there. Take out the first guy, second guy jumps right down, got a nice little hit on him, pull on my second air as a shotgun, jump on this trampoline, headshot, and now it comes from the posterizing, amazing montage clip. This girl's trying to shoot me like it's Gears of War, thinks she's using a torque bow. I'm able to reload, jump on a trampoline, and take her out. Well, the game type we're playing right now is called Psych Warfare. And the best way I can describe it for you all, it's like Sabotage on Call of Duty. On Sabotage on Call of Duty, there's a bomb in the middle of the map, and you have to arm it, kind of like a search and destroy, planet defend, all that kind of stuff. In this game, it's a battery in the middle. And after you plan it, a time machine goes off. And when the time machine goes off, the enemy team has no sense of direction. Pretty much their dexterity, they have no clue what they're going on. The big moving walking targets right towards you with stars in their eyes. I love these trampolines. You can get behind the enemies a lot faster and take out the first guy, get a nice hit, hit mark on him. And now this is when I think it looks like Team Fortress 2. Look at this guy, looks like a big heavy. I have no clue what he's doing. Gets a nice double kill, but I take him out with a shotgun. The thing I love about this game is its customization. That's something I think developers have been lacking a lot of their games. Look at Call of Duty, for instance. Modern Warfare 3, what could you do? Change the gun camo. That was it. On Black Ops, you could do a little bit more than that. And one of my favorite games I ever played was Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter 2. The thing I loved about that game was the customization. And the cool thing about this game, you can customize your character so it's unique. You're not like any other person in this game. The name of the game is Psych Warfare. It's like what it said, like sabotage. I'm going to go in my stealthy stealth mode. I take out the girl that thinks she has a torque bow. Not really clue, sure clue what she's doing. I'm able to plant this off. Again, I have no team help. I have to go with this one-on-one, -on -one, one-man army kind of thing. Like any game, like in Search Destroyer, after you plant the bomb, you have to defend it. So now comes the boring part. The camping part. The aggressive defending part. The part where we all argue that destroying video games is a huge epidemic. The thing right here is I'm using this tactical move. I get up with the grappling hook and have a big bird's eye advantage on the enemy. See the big guy coming right here. I'm able to take him out. I just love this game, guys. I've been tweeting back and forth with the company. The cool thing about this is the arcade game's not really going to cost that much. It's going to be 1,200 Microsoft points or $14.99. After you spend a lot of money, like $60 on every single video game, we have to pretty much take a shot in the dark and decide if this game's really good or not. Some games that come to mind are Water Warfare 3, Homefront for example, Halo Reach, etc. Just games I don't really like. This game's only called $15 and right now the beta is really good. Of course it's a beta and there's some problems with it. Sometimes I can't find games but you know what, playing this game it's just a different style. The class I'm using right now I'm going to call the Call of Duty class. They have an SMG assault rifle thing, pretty much plays like an MP5 in my opinion with the secondary as a shotgun. And the shotgun doesn't really have hit markers. It takes out the enemy very quickly, maybe three shots if I get them right away, nice headshots and stuff. I encourage you all to download this game. I mean, one, it's beta, so if you guys have a PlayStation, you guys get it really easy. If you're on the Xbox, immediately jump on it. Make an account right away and hopefully I can get in, because last time it closed very quickly. So this game has a lot of promise. The one thing I'm not really sure about is there's only two game types right now, and I'm hoping that developers add in more game types to it so they can expand the game. And the way this game is, the WB design, you know, the people that made the pinky in the brain with all the animations and stuff. So I think this game has a lot of promise. And who knows, maybe we'll actually become a full blood game. Which would be cool, because right now it's playing like a, a Halo style, which, you know, skilled shooter kind of say. And this is the part I really liked in this game I was playing right here. Let's look at the first guy, the second guy right here. Look at the bottom. I have 15 health, 16 health, 17 health. Going up with my heart. Shooting the grappling hook. Maybe it'll turn with the grappling hook. This big heavy guy has already been said he's flying. He's using the vent to fly. He's trying to shoot me with a thing, and if he didn't use a vent, he probably would have took me out. Now using the trampoline, get a big bird's eye advantage on the enemy. It'll take him out. Now this game of Psych Warfare is about to come to the end. And unlike Sabotage, whoever plants the bomb first wins. This plays like Search and Destroy. You do switch sides. Unfortunately, I'm not going to show you guys that part. 
I do go 15 and 4 in this gameplay, spoiler alert. And I finished this game 26 and 10 overall, but I thought that 15 and 4 was just more entertaining, a good way to get this game out there. This is one of the coolest parts coming right here. This guy comes out of my left peripheral vision. It's a bird, it's a plane, no, it's, it's a dive bomb. At least he's smiling for the camera. <laughs> Guys, this game has a lot of promise. With all these unique inventions, this customization, this is how the game developers should do. They should innovate. Instead of stealing stuff from previous games and just kind of redoing it, updating it, like, for example, Madden, just making roster updates every single year, this is how it does. Because these are what the games you want to sit there and play for a long time. Now, right here in a second, you guys can see me actually use a secondary. I'm not really sure if secondary is big, but I'm using a pipe bomb. I'm able to take out this girl in the final seconds, and thank you guys for watching this video. Again, guys, swing over by Gotham City Imposter. They have an amazing website. Their animation team's fantastic. WB did a great job. And my name is Hoopla. More videos coming very soon.